Meow, meow. It's September 26, and today in Philippine history, Benito Legarda was born in Manila in 1853. His parents were Spanish businessman Benito Legarda, yes, he was a junior, and Cirila Tuason. Cirila was interesting because she is the great-grandchild of Antonio Tuason. Antonio was a Chinese immigrant with an original name of Son Tua. And because of his service to the Spanish crown during the British occupation of Manila, he was given posthumously a mayor zago or a noble estate in 1795. 16,000 acres of what we now know as Diliman and Marikina were once called the Tuazon estate. Filipinos were not allowed to take the name Tuazon when the Claveria Decree of 1849 was released. Note that this is Tuazon with an S, not Tuazon with a Z. Those are two separate surnames. So back to Benito. His parents were rich and connected. He attended Ateneo de Manila and the University of Santo Tomas. In June 1893, Benito and a few of his friends put together 180,000 pesos to help incorporate a quaint little factory for beer called La Fabrica de Cerveza San Miguel. This is the precursor of the San Miguel Corporation. Benito started his political life as an advisor to Aguinaldo and his cabinet. After Aguinaldo surrendered, Benito became vocal about supporting the Americans and he became good friends with Governor General William Howard Taft, who eventually became a U.S. president. He was appointed by Taft as a member of the Philippine Commission from 1901 to 1907. Back then, this was kind of like the Senate. It had a little bit of executive powers as well. In 1908, he became a Philippine resident commissioner to the U.S. Congress. So he was a representative of the Philippines in the U.S. Congress. He focused primarily on trade and tariff issues. He spent many years in Washington. After his stint in Congress, he traveled to Europe to build investment support for an agricultural bank that he wanted to create. Unfortunately, he died in Evian Le Bain, in France. He was buried at the Manila North Cemetery. A street near Malacanang and a school were named after him. Oh, diba?